Hackensack University Medical Center actually started as Hackensack Hospital uh, back in 1888. And uh, believe it or not, it was formed as a result of that famous blizzard in um, 1888. People uh, were stranded really in uh, northern New Jersey at the time. There were no bridges or tunnels and uh, people couldn't get to New York for health care and that's where they typically would, uh, would go. So uh, Dr. David St. John, who was the, uh, one of the founders here in the community, uh, decided it was time for Hackensack and the residents of this area to have their own hospital. So it started small, it was a 12-bed hospital and now it's grown uh, over the years to uh, one of the uh, largest um, and uh, one of the most comprehensive and well well known and uh, well regarded hospitals anywhere in the nation. Over the past uh, few years uh, the, the Board of Governors, myself as the Chief Executive Officer, um, certain uh, constituents like our physician leadership, our frontline employees, community leaders got together and decided that as a result of the Affordable Care Act being uh, passed and a result of other changes within the healthcare industry that it made sense for, for us to uh, expand, to become a, a network, to have multiple locations, to really diversify, if you will, in terms of the types of services and programs that, that we offer. So we got more into outpatient and ambulatory uh, care. We started forming uh, insurance partnerships. We started to affiliate or acquire other, um, other hospitals to grow a larger a network of hospitals and uh, physicians, and today we've uh, we've grown uh, into um, a, a fairly large um, organization. We have four four core hospitals and one that uh, additional hospital that we're affiliated with. We're also uh, planning to uh, to merge with another health care system, so we'll have 12 hospitals in all. But um, e even as importantly as that, we'll have 125 different locations where we provide a variety of um, outpatient and ambulatory care. This hospital, which is the uh, flagship hospital, uh, has uh, just under 800 uh, beds. It is um, from a um, total business revenue perspective. It's a, a, about a $1.2 billion organization. The, the Hackensack University Health Network in total is about a $2 billion um, organization now that it has grown into a very comprehensive network of hospitals and healthcare facilities. No, matter of fact, the, uh, this will remain, Hackensack University Medical Center itself will remain as the flagship hospital of the, uh, of the, new, um, of the new network. And the reason for that is not just because of its uh, size, but because of the scope of services that are being provided here, the fact that it's an academic medical center and will be a ma the major affiliate with our new School of Medicine. So for those reasons, it will remain as the flagship hospital. Well, you know what? There's a lot of competition out there. Um, I think what it what it does is um, it it drives our focus, drives our mission um, toward be, becoming an even more comprehensive academic medical center that offers tertiary and quaternary uh, care. So specifically, uh, transplant services, very specialized uh, surgical um, procedures as well. Um, again, w our goal, one of our goals is that people don't have to necessarily travel to New York to receive that very specialized care, that we have the best of the best right here in, uh, in northern New Jersey. The other thing that, in, uh, from a practical perspective, uh, because it's so close to New York, we are able to really attract uh, what I would call real destination physicians from, uh, from New York City to come uh, and practice here at Hackensack, because it's not that significant um, a, a geographic change uh, for them, but they see Hackensack as a, uh, certainly as a, a major site to, uh, to practice specialized care. I think it will still grow, whether the Affordable Care Act is around as in its current um, state or it, it changes, I think some of the fundamentals are, are still there, meaning that um, really the public is looking for um, value in healthcare, meaning high quality care, meaning comprehensive care, meaning access to uh, health care, but they also are looking for affordable health care. So I believe whether you call it the Affordable Care Act or it morphs into something else, some of those fundamentals will, uh, will still, be, uh, still be there. So um, I, as a result of that, I, I think our health network will continue to grow, will continue to uh, be comprehensive. Probably um, as more and more health care is being delivered outside the four walls of, of a hospital, there'll be more uh, ambulatory care uh, types of uh, partnerships. Already we have, uh, we have several in place 
We've partnered with uh, CVS Minute Clinic, where we oversee nine CVS Minute Clinics um, in the uh, in the area. We partnered with um, CityMD, which is a, a large provider of uh, urgent care services, and uh, we pr partnered with uh, uh, United Surgical Partners International, which. Uh, um, serves uh, ambulatory surgery centers. I've been carrying two titles for the last uh, almost seven years now. Uh, I've been the CEO of this new health system that we created and, and it's got grown so large and it's become so comprehensive in a short period of time while maintaining the title of president of Hackensack University Medical Center which in itself is a, uh, a large job as you might imagine being the, the flagship hospital of the system. So um, having um, Appointed a new president, Dr. Ihua Sawchuk, uh, to that role uh, w makes a lot of sense. So I can really focus my attention to um, to running the health uh, network and uh, and looking for opportunities to uh, to make it uh, you know more f efficient, more effective. Uh, looking at opportunities to continue to have it uh, grow. And Dr. Sawchuk then can focus on keeping Hackensack uh, as our, our flagship hospital, but also making it even better than it has been um, in the past. So. He's, uh, he's, he's a great person, a very, very uh, talented urologist, a very talented physician executive. It was very important to me that, um, that a physician succeeded me as the president of, uh, of Hackensack University Medical Center. As our flagship, as we're getting into uh, now establishing a new school of medicine, it was really important, I think, that a physician leads our, uh, our academic medical center.